Moshi Moshi Miami Gamers and welcome back to Genji Impact. Today guys, we're gonna finish up Layla's hangout event. Let's say, are you going to visit Turly Willy? Oh, come to think of it, I haven't seen Turly Whirly in a long time. Ah, uh, but no, now's not the time for that. I was originally looking up some information at the house of Dana, but the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis is horribly lacking. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I already know about this. Don't tell me, game. I should have been done with the first draft of my thesis by now, but I've barely written a third. Hmm. Well, we said this. Well, uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now, but who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later so he can focus his attention on the other students. Oh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up and I haven't completely given up yet. You still have time, right? To be honest, I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh, if it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the darshan by now. <sighs> he, um, are they the great fungi elder? What's that? A fungus with a long beard? Uh, there's no such thing. Though, if there were, I'd love to give it a pat or two. Uh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. Ooh, due to my lack of sleep, I sometimes get dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. Yeah, but oddly enough, when I wake up, all the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Uh, my homework's somehow finished before the deadline and my papers are perfectly written, but that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. I really don't know what's going on, but for now, I'm calling the phenomenon a blessing from the stars. Maybe the stars above decided to help out after seeing all the effort I put into my research. <laughs> if that's even possible. I want powers like that. <sighs> but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts, improving one step at a time. Uh, how else can I honor my parents and live up to the expectations of everyone who knows me? Oh no, I've already spent too much time chatting. Oh. I still haven't made much headway on my thesis. At this rate, I'll need the Wisdom Seelie's help. Yes, but time's of the essence, so I have to take what I can get. Oh, sorry. I'm just making excuses. But the Wisdom Seelie is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question 
And you'll get a response a short while later. Maybe it's someone researcher who was to remain anonymous? Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Sealy. But getting an answer all comes down to the Sealy's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Uh, all I can do right now is hope that it helps me. Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Trying my luck with another phenomenon is uh, better than doing nothing. It's too busy to rely on some fishy legend to complete your thesis. from here I can't just go back and start packing to leave you should rest first rest but my deadline's just around the corner oh I don't think I can afford to rest right now you won't be able to rest anything in your current state uh, you do have a point oh sorry I tend to panic easily as you can see. Then, how should I rest? I definitely won't be able to sleep. Ooh, as soon as I close my eyes, all kinds of thoughts start floating into my head. How about we head to Papa's Cafe? Oh, that's a good idea. A cup of coffee might help clear my head. Let's go. We're getting some Starbucks? Let's sit down here and have some coffee and sweets. It'll help me put my thoughts together. Uh, no. We're here to rest. My problems will have to wait for now. Oh, hey, Layla. Uh, huh? Sorry, but who the fuck are you? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. You look, you look mad. Look at you. Do I trust you? We just submitted our theses and we are totally beat. Everyone will be meeting here to celebrate. Seeing how relaxed you look, you must have already had your thesis finished ages ago. Oh, no, I... I'm actually having a lot of trouble with it. You say that every time we talk, but you've never missed a deadline. Not only that, your papers are always well-written and thorough. Your advisor is constantly praising your work, yet you're always going around saying stuff like, I can't make it, I don't understand, I'm super worried. That kind of talk doesn't reflect your work at all, you know. Well, uh, I... Hmm, why so host... why so... Actually, no. What are you getting at? <sighs> For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every time we come to see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. Uh, I know, I know. Shit. Sorry. Everyone is entitled to her own choices. You should learn to respect that. Whatever. There's no point in starting an argument here. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. <laughs> for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. Is it because you don't want others to know about the blessing from the stars? Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me uh, like you do. I think I understand your situation now. Uh, Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Let's see. Um, only by improving yourself and no longer rely on the external power can you break out of a vicious cycle. Huh. Yeah. That's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. 
Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Let's see. Okay, um, why don't you try facing the problem head on? Uh, face it head on? What, what should I do? Do you really think I can? It's simple. Just break down the unfinished parts of the daisies into different tasks and tackle them one by one. Uh, oh, okay. I've got a pen and paper with me. Let me go through them real quick. Hmm... The theory sections are pretty much finished. I'll be able to finish organizing the rest of my own. Uh, as of now, I'm missing crucial observation data. I need the results of an observation to validate the conclusion of my thesis. And then there's the preparation for my thesis defense. Uh, I'll need to mentally prepare. Those don't sound too good. I can help you. What? You want to help me with my thesis? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to show you my gratitude. Don't worry about it. We already come this far. Uh, you're so kind. I had no idea I'd meet someone so nice in Sumeru City. Of course okay, I'm nice. I'll do my best. It's the least I can do, considering everything you've already done for me. Uh, first on the list is the experiment to get observational data. I actually had it all planned out several days ago, and even borrowed a celestial globe from a Mahamata. However, the weather was rainy every single day after I borrowed it, and I was unable to compare the night sky against the celestial globe. There were a lot of people waiting to borrow the celestial globe, and I wasn't able to extend my time slot. So I returned it and haven't been able to borrow it again since. That's why I still haven't performed the necessary observations yet. I don't know what to do. So you're lacking some equipment. Uh, that's right. The Celestial Globe is a high-precision device used specifically for researching the stars. Submitting an application to borrow one from the Academia is pretty much the only way for me to get my hands on one. Looks like we're going to have to act well at the Adventures Guild. Huh? Why the Adventurers Guild? Because no one has the necklace like Catherine does. Oh, I see. The Adventurers Guild is open to everyone's commission, so she might have some ideas. Okay, uh, let's go and try our luck. Let's go. Can I get a fancy latte? The soap is a fancy! Nah, -uh, not you, Venti. Get out of here. And how'd you get here? It's a secret. I was there by dreaming. You don't wanna know. Oh, Catherine! Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. How can I help you today? Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I have a commission... Um, it's kind of strange. How should I put this? We would like to buy a high precision cholesterol globe. Uh, right. Equipment at the Academia is in very high demand, and we aren't able to borrow one now. We were hoping someone else might have something similar that we could use. I don't know anything about astrology, so I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the device you are looking for. However, one of our requesters happens to be an astrology enthusiast. I hear that he's a collector of all sorts of specialized astrology equipment. After the Adventurers Guild helped him out, he indicated that he'd be happy to return the favor if the adventurers ever need it. Perhaps we could arrange a meeting between you two. That should help solve your problem. R really? Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's my job to provide adventurers with the necessary support. The man's name is Azam. Here is his address. You can go ahead and pay him a visit. Yeah, okay. Good idea. So he's just over there. So you were the man I'm gonna speak to next? H Hello, are you Azam? <laughs> yes, I am. How may I help you? You explain this on to the purpose of your visit. Ah, I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer, then I'll be happy to help you. 
<laughs> I just so happen to have the device that you're looking for. Let me fetch it and show you, just to be sure. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Oh, it also was like a bonus thing, but different. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just got a little excited. Uh, uh please go ahead. Hmm. To be honest, judging by what stands before me, I find it very hard to believe that you're an astute Ratawahis student. Uh, well... Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time and mora to collect. I cherish them as if they were members of my own family, which is why I don't let just anyone borrow them on a whim. These devices are delicate, and can easily be damaged if used inappropriately. Oh, th that's completely understandable. Uh, what can I do to better gain your trust? How about this? I don't need a deposit or anything, but I'd like you to share the contents of your research with me. I'll ask you some questions. If your explanation proves satisfactory, then I'll lend you the device. Sh share the contents of my research and answer questions? Uh... Oh no. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. You're dumb enough to explain what you learned. Uh, Alright. I'll try. But I can't disclose the actual details to you. Uh, how about a general overview of the research? Uh, would that suffice? Yes, that would be fine. You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future, as well as attempt to summarize the correlating principles, correct? Mm-hmm, of course. This is the basic principle of astrology. Ahem. <clears throat> My current research is about a certain phenomenon called astral shift. Interesting. That's not a topic any ordinary person would be familiar with. I have a basic understanding of the concept, but I'd like to hear you explain it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, in short, it means that the results derived from astrology are prone to change. As time continues to flow, the stars change and everything else becomes affected by this change. However, what's actually driving the change is what's worth investigating. I think that it might just be another law of nature. If the changes follow a certain pattern or routine, then it could be explained as some law. But the changes are manifold, even when considering just a single star. The changes could be resulting from a simple single orbit shift, or it could be a more complex double orbit, or even a triple or quadruple orbit shift. These phenomena have a dramatic effect on astrological conclusions. Uh, what I'm working on now is the research and prediction of the triple orbit shift phenomenon. Triple orbit? By yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. You do know that adding an extra star to the equation increases the computational workload by more than tenfold, right? Uh, it does get a little complicated, but it's still manageable with the use of a few self-invented techniques and a large number of star logs and star charts. Which leads us to why I'm in need of a high-precision celestial globe. Hmm... <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I should never have judged a book by its cover. I thought you were just trying to half-heartedly deal with some school assignment. Uh, do I really look like that sort of person? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just joking. I was a little cautious at first. But now I trust you completely. It would make me extremely happy if my collection could assist a researcher in achieving tangible results. Just make sure you return it to me once you're done. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed that. <sighs> Good thing Azam was willing to hear me out. I didn't really understand what you were talking about, but I thought you did great. Really? I was just explaining what it is I'm trying to do. You saw the show signs up become a great researcher. Really? <laughs> I don't know if you really mean it, but I'm happy to hear that. I guess even the hardest problems can be solved as long as I'm willing to try. 
Recording and comparing data will be much easier now that we have this device. I can do it all on my own, too. Let's continue with the plan. Can you help me with the rehearsal of my thesis defense? We can do that at the House of Dana. Oh, okay. So I guess we're gonna start from here. This seems like the best spot to do this. We'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone. So here's what will happen during my thesis defense. After I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. <sighs> That's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. So I'm playing the role of the academic advisor, right? Uh, that's right. You should have gotten the gist of the content in my thesis when I was explaining it earlier. So ask away. It's okay if your questions are a little off. I'll still treat them as real questions from an advisor and answer seriously. Got it, you ready? Uh, wait a moment! <sighs> Alright, Layla, you got this. You were able to explain everything earlier, so you can do it again. Alright, ask away. Question 1. Are you a virgin? Oh, I listened for the long question short once. Can you briefly describe the application of the law of triple orbit shift calculation? Uh, sure. The direction of this research is based on the results of previous research. It's about the feasibility of applying my methodologies to the remaining triple orbit problems. Um, uh, based on a sample size of 124 cases, we could only achieve approximately 60% accuracy. The results were not reliable enough to be implemented as a law. You can see the common traits of the erroneous samples on page 3. Uh, excuse me, I mean from the star logs in the appendix. It's clear that in each of the erroneous samples, one of the stars underwent a significant shift. This means that, uh, we not only need to limit the number of stars, but we may also need to consider the degree of shift when applying triple orbit shift algorithms. Stars with greater shifts are often key in astrology readings. The next step of the research should be... Uh, uh, the next step should be to identify the feasible thresholds of shift for applying our calculations. And that's my answer to your question. Do... do you have any other questions? So what if it's so here, they literally managed to answer all the questions. <sighs> We're finally done. Oh, we'll do all of them. Okay, good. I didn't want to do with that. I'm gonna need more practice. I can feel myself getting flustered, and I start to stumble whenever I'm asked questions that I'm unfamiliar with. Your personal could use some work, but I can tell your logic is sound. Oh, really? You mean it? Hmm. Then this practice must be helping. During my first thesis defense, I stood like a statue on the stage and my palms were covered in sweat. I couldn't get a single word out. It seems you managed to address all the major challenges challenges for you. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. It doesn't seem like there's anything holding me back now. I guess that means I'm capable of completing the thesis all on my own. I can hardly believe it. This is amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really excited. This is the first time this has happened, really. I'm so happy. You were called to reach this point. You don't need to really rely on your others anymore. <laughs> That's right, Layla. I'm not sure how to put this. I'm really happy about everything that's happened, but I'm also feeling a little sad. I still don't know anything about the blessing from the stars. Will it never happen again since I don't need its help anymore? <sighs> that somehow makes me feel a little... lonely. Lonely? Yeah, 
It almost makes the blessing feel like it was just a tool used for my studies, no? But I would really like to discover what the blessing actually is, if I ever get the chance. Uh, I want to express my gratitude for it, or better yet, maybe we could be friends. That's basically how I feel about it. Even if I know nothing about the blessing, I could still feel its companionship all along. It's almost like how you help me. I really cherish and appreciate it. After all, it wouldn't be right to take such blessings for granted in our lives. I'm sure it will also be very happy to know you're feeling this way. That's good. I hope it's a little more satisfied with the way I am now. <laughs> Leila got home oh, now. No more stress out for Leila. Look her studying. Are you thinking of this? I just asked you the question. Are you freaking serious? I need help. Oh my god. A man, of course. Naturally, you naturally get invisible. The unfold of events will be catch in the memory of a long time to come. Now, let's see. If he messes up, you won't be able to gain his trust. Uh, you, you're starting to make me feel nervous. Ah, I'm sorry. Ah, let's give you a kiss. Ah, on the head or the boobas? Are you okay? <laughs> this is different. Oh no. Now she's in her not how she came out. Uh, I'm okay. My mind just decided to stray elsewhere for a moment. Give me a second to gather myself. Oh, is this the celestial globe that I needed to borrow? Why is she asking again? Correct. I was about to test you with a few questions, but you suddenly started looking very uncomfortable. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I don't sleep very well, so I tend to get a little dizzy from time to time. I'm fine now. I hope you're fine. Hmm. She seems a little different all of a sudden. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I see. Well then. Uh, can you briefly summarize your area of research for me? With pleasure. I'll give you a general overview. <clears throat> You're probably aware that astrologists... She's more alive this far, I love it! ...bodies to calculate the past and the future. Due to the difficulty of designing an experiment and the challenges of validating theories about the past, astrological research is usually based on an immense foundation of experience, and therein lies the largest complexity. Derived and validated conclusions may vary due to subtle changes caused by the flow of time and shifts in the stars. Ah, I've heard about this before. I believe it's known as Astral Shift. One of the most classic challenges is to use three stars with shifting orbits to predict the overall changes that may have occurred. Ah, are you referring to the triple orbit problem? Yes, that really is a classic problem, and a very difficult one to tackle. I came up with a set of prediction methods that encompass more than half of the triple orbit problems. However, there are quite a few limitations and requirements. This set of methods is already being put into practice at the Ritawa Hastarshan by my advisor, drastically simplifying the difficulty of calculations involved in the triple orbit problem. Yes, I've heard about that. The announcement made big waves in the astrology enthusiast community. So, you were the one who came up with that? <laughs> You mustn't judge a book by its cover, you know. The thesis I'm working on this time aims to address the remaining triple orbit problems, as well as eliminate a portion of the methodology's limitations, which will make it easier to use. I see. In that case, perhaps there's no one more fitting to operate this device than you. I just keep it as part of a collection, and I can't use it to its full potential like you can. Thank you for understanding. Turn it in perfect working order once I'm finished with it. Okay, we should be going now. Where are we going? Uh, what oh. did we plan to do after this? I kind of forgot. You aren't Layla, are you? Huh? What makes you say that? Is there something off about me? The real Layla wouldn't forget what to do next. Uh, fine. Looks like I can't keep the act up any longer. I even tried to look a little panicky to emulate her behavior. You're the blessing of the stars, aren't you? <laughs> 
suppose that is what she's been calling me. With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety peaks, she loses consciousness and I take over. However, her unpredictable and variable sleep patterns are completely out of my control. So I have to make every second count. There's no one willing to help her here, so I have to step in. Hmm... I am rather curious about you, though. Why are you trying to help her? Well, she's finally decided to face the problem with her basis head on, and she's working very hard on it. Really? That's great. You're helping with all the things that I used to do for her. Seems like you've given her a boost of confidence with your encouragement. She's only steps away from the finish line. Ah, <sighs> she's already made a lot of progress, so there's no need to push too hard now. Anyway, what's the plan from here? She said that she wanted to practice for her thesis defense. I see. Well, it wouldn't be of any help if I practiced for her, but I'll leave some notes that should come in handy. Come on, let's go back to the house of Dana to make preparations. You'll have to tell her later when she wakes up. Okay... Okay, I should get started on those notes. If there's anything you're curious about, you may go ahead and ask now. I can answer you as I write. <laughs> I'm used to multitasking. Oh, and I have to ask a favor. When you give the notes to her later, please don't tell her about my existence. Why is that? Hmm... Well, she's always been in a fragile state. If she knew that there was another Layla who's always taking care of everything, she might feel like everything she's ever worked for is pointless, and that could lead to some demoralizing thoughts. She's a resilient girl, but no matter how resilient she may be, no one can hold up to criticism and torment from themselves. If her condition grows any worse, it's possible that I might cease to exist as well. Then there wouldn't be anyone to help her. But she's not doing very well now either. She's getting better though, isn't she? It's apparent how hard she's working now. She's my source of knowledge. I'm merely the representation of how she would be if she were rested and healthy. I believe that she's one of the best, even in a place like the Academia where geniuses come by the handful. But growth is a process and shouldn't be rushed. I will always believe in and support her. It's good that she has you or she might already hit rock bottom. <laughs> believe me, even if she were to end up at rock bottom, she'd find a way to somehow laugh it off as one of her silly mistakes and climb her way out. That's the kind of person she is. <sighs> Alright, I've written down all the possible questions that I think the advisors might ask. Next, I'll put together a few words of encouragement for her. I'm not going to sign it, obviously. Oh, and don't forget about our agreement. Okay. Layla? You know what? Oh. <laughs> oh god, look at her though. Hey, what the fuck is this? What am I doing to myself? The Star Expectation. They will never meet, but she always makes, always walk alongside her. Now, let's say, why are you so hostile towards Layla? <sighs> For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every time we come to see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. Uh, I know, I know. Sorry. Just because later breaks that wood doesn't mean it's a problem. Whatever, there's no point in starting an argument here. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. <laughs> Uh, thanks for standing up for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me uh, like you do. Uh, huh? Uh, what do you mean? You think that the blessing from the stars is some external power that's out of your control? 
exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Let's see, sounds like we need to find a way for you to completely relax. C completely relax? But we're at a cafe, is this not relaxing enough? Hmm, let's see, academics are only one part of life. I know, I know, but... <sighs> Alright, no more buts. My life is a mess because of the decisions I've made for myself. I should listen to your advice this time. <sighs> How do I completely relax? Since you're from the countryside, why don't we leave some LC and go sightseeing? Sightseeing? Hmm, that does sound pretty nice. I haven't set foot outside the academia in quite a while. I used to enjoy visiting the rainforest, but it's been a while since I've been there. Maybe a lot has changed. <sighs> okay, why don't we go there and take a look? <sighs> oh, yeah. Look, Eva, I'm touching grass for once. I'm always touching grass everywhere I go. Like what? Monstad, Luya, Endendale's, um, uh, Inazuma, and Clean Heal. I thought Inazuma was just electrifying grass. Ah, uh, no. <sighs> Even the air here feels more relaxing. I just want to forget about the thesis altogether. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Knowing me, I'd only be able to forget about it for a little while. Uh, uh, this doesn't count as trying to avoid my problems, does it? Your state of mind is just as important as infinity if you want to solve the problems that you're facing. That's quite the legitimate excuse. Hmm. Uh, no, it's more of an explanation. <laughs> Even I'm starting to get bold here with my words. I grew up in a place like this. Looking into the distance now with the breeze in my face makes me feel like a kid again. Oh, those were the happiest days. What do you usually do as a kid? Hmm. I had a bunch of friends back then, and we would go pick wild berries in the woods. No matter what ingredients we found, we would cook them over a fire, and whoever lost one of our games would have to eat all of it. That sounds a little intense. No, it wasn't that bad. It really depended on how lucky you were. Grilled apples and sunsetias are actually quite delicious. Why don't we go find something to grill as well? Uh, Sure, I haven't done that in ages. Uh, let's go. What are you making? Uh, apples and zaytun peaches were the most popular fruits back then. Mm -hmm. oh, and of course, grilled fish is delicious too. A fish skin releases oils while cooking, which drip into the fire and cause it to burn even brighter. Hey Layla, I'm your consciousness! We're walking together! Ain't that kinda awkward? I guess it is! <laughs> this would be so funny, this is just uh, the way I yourself. Like, oh god, is this what I look like in my consciousness? Ooh! Anyway, let's keep walking. To the water? I mean. But we would always get yelled at by the grown ups if they caught us sneaking into the river to catch fish. What's the big deal? We just want to swim! That's what we used to say. Woo! Ah! I think about it, it really was quite dangerous. Uh, uh, thank goodness nothing bad ever happened. This is you, Leila. <laughs> you just stay at yourself. Uh, what are you doing, me? Oh, splash in the water! We're just gonna keep on walking. If those hangers attack us while we're walking this way, I swear, we're just having fun. Let's leave you alone, and we'll leave you alone. Okay? You better be able- you better not get the goons again to later. Um, okay, all of this. Even some fresh apples. Oh, back up. Oh yeah, go on now. I have to keep walking. Here you go, Layla. I think we found enough now, don't you? 
How much do they... Just apples and this. And how much do we need? No, how apples? Okay, you need apples. All right, these should be enough. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of fresh ingredients. They already smell delicious. I'll be here cleaning the ingredients. Can you please fetch some firewood for us? That's his washing, not cleaning. That's kind of weird, by the way. Why would I collect firewood? Um. Uh, okay, Layla, you you get there if you. Oh, those enemies around here. Um, this is a good idea. You know, I want to try something. If they actually try to attack, if I'm doing this. Oh, they are. Excuse me, coming to ow ow ow. Okay, excuse me, coming to. Thank you. They want to game beat me! Ah! Layla, help! Oh, I'm Layla. <laughs> Layla! Oh, we have to come listen to me first. Go away! Aha, coward. Here we go. You make a fire with Layla and enjoy delicious food. Mmm. Fresh food is the best. That is true. I feel like I've traveled back in time. We all used to run around in the woods when we were kids. Trees and mud was the world we knew best. It doesn't matter how long I'm away from the forest, I won't ever forget the feeling of running through the trees. Oh, uh, how about you? Can you relate to that feeling? It's almost like not knowing the world will change or ever expecting it to change. Although adventures really it will stay in one place, I hope I can experience that feeling one day. Whatever the case, it's a very warm feeling. In mm -hmm. the end, I passed the admissions exam, and the life I had led came to an abrupt end. Later, as I sat in a lecture at the academia, my mind started to wander and I began to think about home. It was then that I realized how long it had been since I went back. Uh, I can't go back anymore. And other similar thoughts started to come to mind. Uh, I guess I'm still not used to being in the academia yet. There was a purpose for every stage in life. Uh, you're right. So we should let go of the past. I suppose this is also part of growing up. Hmm. But reminiscing about the carefree life of being a kid sure works wonders for the mind. <sighs> you start missing those moments once you leave them behind. And that's part of moving forward. <sighs> from now on, I'd like to cherish every single day of my life. Even when it's not the smoothest of rides. Everything will get better. I know you can do it. <laughs> uh, I'll take the compliment. A little bit of sugar and a good view really go a long way for relaxation. I thought it'd be impossible for me to enjoy something like this. <sighs> I thought I'd never be able to get my mind off my thesis. But now, I feel like I'm fully enjoying myself. It's really great. So, what are we doing next? Hmm, it's nice to just stroll around and see what happens. You're right. I've been doing research for so long that I'm used to having a certain routine. A carefree stroll. Ha! Huh. I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm, let's go. We are going to the lake. What are we doing? Taking a bath? Uh, wow, I never knew there is such a large lake here. Oh, it's so beautiful. The feeling of cool lake water can wash away all your troubles. Uh, can you wait for a minute? I'd like to wash my face. I think it'd be refreshing. Why don't we just go for a swim? Uh, huh? A swim? I can't remember the last time I went swimming. I might not even know how to anymore. As well as things that you'll never forget. Um, okay. I'll try to swim over there. Let's see who can get there first. Wait, no, no, no. I'll definitely lose. <sighs> no, forget about winning or losing, Layla. It'll be fun either way. Yes, it would. 
Oh, I was gonna swim, please. Oh, we're starting already. Huh? Uh, I'll just be later. Let's swim to the other side. Whee! This is fun. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Ah, ha! Oh god! My nips are cold! Ah! Ethan! Ah, is this normal? Yeah, it's normal. It's okay. Unless you're feeling horny, then maybe you'll be fine. Let's keep on swimming to the other side. Yeah, let's keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh god, it literally drowns in this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, girl. Don't, don't point fingers at me just because I made you drown like that. Okay, she's almost drowning. Oh lord. be able to beat an adventure at something like this. But you won, Layla! What do you mean? I think you were a great swimmer. You weren't too far behind. Uh, really? <laughs> Among my childhood friends, I was considered one of the more athletic ones, but that's just like how I used to think that I had a gift for learning. After coming to Sumeru City, I realized that I only thought that because my hometown is such a small place. Place. On top of that, uh, I'm getting weaker and weaker because I'm barely able to sleep nowadays. There's no way I can bring myself to brag about anything now. You really are too modest. Uh, please, you're always encouraging me. I'm starting to feel embarrassed. Is she blushing? But swimming again. Oh, she was. I didn't so realize that. Great. Every muscle in my body was engaged. I probably wouldn't have to worry about my thesis if I turned into a fish, don't you think? Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. I'm sure fish have worries of their own. I'm quite content with how things are right now. Uh, let's keep going, shall we? Yes, Lila. Now we're going to the mountain top. What's the? I mean, a mushroom here. You want to jump on it to see what's up there? Oh, uh, we are though. Uh, I haven't Woo! done this in a while. I kind of want to get a try. Wait, later I sure is going to be up here. This place is apparently die. I mean, it should be a big deal. Yeah, we'll be fine. Right? We'll be okay? This is okay. It's very fine. I don't like this. We're going up there? Uh, I mean, can we just jump up to go faster? <gasps> no, Lena, just jump. Just jump, go. J oh my god, really? Job. My, my, my sleepy queen. Whee! Okay, now going up there. Oh, look, another mushroom. We're gonna jump on this. Okay, let us get up here. Safe and sound. Layla, jump up. Whee! Now, you're up here. Now, we're up here for a reason. What's the big deal now? We're on top of the mountain. <sighs> We've walked pretty far now. But I barely felt the time passing by. Ah, I've been staring at books in my thesis every day. I've forgotten how nice and happy life actually can be. That's why I said that your life shouldn't completely evolve around your studies. Ah, you're right. No matter how much of a hard time I'm having in academics, I should still find the time to look after myself and fulfill my needs. You really understand more about life than I do. Would you like to take the opportunity to release all your stress? Release my stress? Oh, I see what you mean. Being at the top of a mountain really does make someone want to yell out loud. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a little uncivilized. Isn't it? It's okay. We're already here, so we should make the best of it. Uh, Alright, I'll give it a try. Just promise not to laugh, okay? Yeah, sure. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I don't give a look. That is actually adorable, actually, you're not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. She done? Uh, it feels like my entire body is bubbling with excitement after yelling like that. This happiness was so common as a child, but before I knew it, this feeling was buried in the bottom of my heart. Uh, it's getting late. Uh, why don't we rest here for a while? Uh, I'll tell you some interesting astrology stuff when the stars come out. 
Uh, oh, but it's all right if you don't want to listen to that kind of stuff. We can also tell jokes about life or talk about anything you're interested in. We can tell about whatever you like. Uh, okay, then I'll tell you more about me. The only reason I ever chose to study astrology is because of how beautiful the stars are at night. My teacher told me that nature possesses a certain power that grants people an equal amount of kindness and fairness, regardless of the different talents they may possess. And that's why I wanted to call the kind person who's always helping me as the blessing from the stars. <sighs> The stars in the sky are something that brings happiness to people. Yes, they truly are. Uh, everything about home is filled with purity and passion. My memories of that place are wonderful. I never want to forget them. If I were to ever discard anything so pure, I don't think I'd ever be able to find a place to anchor myself in the vast sea of knowledge. That's why, no matter how tiring or how hard it gets, uh, I won't let my family down. They are already an important part of me. That's another reason not to lose yourself in the face of pressure. Yeah. Thank goodness you were there to help me out or I don't know where I would have ended up. <sighs> We probably still have a while until the stars come out. Yes. Ooh, only kids sit around like this, waiting for the stars to appear. Oh, it's gonna talk so quickly. So, what ne- <gasps> Oh, she's sitting next to me! Oh, God! Layla? Layla? Layla! <sighs> Oh god, guess take it to a teapot! A moment of respite. I wonder if she exhausted or if she feels... Finally relaxed. Let's protect this precious moment for a little while longer. Alright guys, I'm gonna avail. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Sayonara.